Hi guys, it is me, Jacqueline, long time no see. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time here. I know it has been a while, I am sorry for that, but I have been busy with school and I am actually having a lot more videos coming out in the future. I am starting to do reading vlogs, which I am really excited for. I have seen them a couple of times on the booktube sphere, but I have not done one personally and I had some recommendations to start doing reading vlogs. So let me know if you are excited for those. For today's video though, I am actually going to be reviewing After from Anna Todd. This is actually a Wattpad story that got turned into a book and has a complete series attached to it and it's actually now going to be turned into a movie and the movie itself is coming out on April 12th so I had heard about it I decided to pick up the book I read it in literally a matter of hours and I do have some strong opinions on this book so we'll talk about that in today's video but part two of this review video will be my opinion on the movie so once I see the movie, I will definitely get a review out there for you guys and let me know if you are excited for that. But yeah, let's just jump right on in to the book review of After from Anna Todd. So After is actually the first book, a part of a five book series. It is a new adult romance series. And in this book, we actually follow our main character, Tessa, who is a good girl. She comes from a single home family, a single mom home family, and she is going to college when we are first starting this book off. She has a boyfriend who is a year younger, so college itself is kind of scary for her because she has no one she is going to know at this state university, and she's very insecure of that factor. And of course, she gets there and she finds that she has a roommate that is complete opposite of her and has friends that are completely opposite of her. And one of those friends that the roommate has is named Hardin Scott. Hardin Scott is your typical bad boy and our main character and Hardin Scott sort of do butt heads, but Sparks ends up flying and the story progresses from their initial meeting. In this book, we do have an element of self sort of journey in discovering who Tessa is and what she wants in for herself and she's kind of splitting away from a lot of what she was raised upon being. Also we are dealing with Hardin Scott's past and as these two characters come together. So I originally had heard of this book from like I said it being a Wattpad story turned into a huge Book. So it was originally a 1D Wattpad story. Hardin Scott was actually Harry Styles and I personally was not a huge One Direction fan. No offense to anyone that was. As a fangirl myself, I appreciate other fangirls, but I just was never really into One Direction, so I had never really heard of this book. I now, knowing the fact this is a book with the movie coming out, I saw that the movie trailer was based on a book and I was like, I want to see what's up. I saw a lot of people being like, oh my god, imagine Harry Styles reacting to this trailer and stuff like that in the comments of the trailer. So I ended up picking up the book and I read it in a matter of hours. So. I did give this book a 2 out of 5 stars. I will explain that reasoning in this video, but I would love to know what your thoughts are on this book if you have read it personally and the entire series as a whole. I know it is a 5 book series. I personally do not have the desire to move forward. Of course, I will leave my listings and reasoning for that in this video, but I would love to also hear what you guys individually think of this book and this series. So my cat Pumpkin has chose to join us, so if you hear any clawing, purring, meowing, that is her presence, just trying to say hello. But my first couple of thoughts I have are the pros for this book. So we'll start off with the pros and then we will dive into the cons. So like I said, I gave this book a two out of five stars. So the one major pro I had was the fact that I did read this super fast. I flew into this book. It was very easy to read. I felt very compelled to continue on to see what was going to happen next. And the other pro I had is it had one of my favorite tropes. I personally love hate to love romances and while this wasn't my favorite one, I did love that it had that element a part of it just because I can't help but love hate to love romances. So this is a hate to love romance and it was very fast and very easy to read. Now the cons I have are major cons. So the first con I have associated with this book 
are the characters themselves and it was hard for me to say this very distinctly in my Goodreads review but why I found these characters to be lackluster is because I didn't really find anything unique entirely about them. I found that our main character, Tessa, she was fine. I found the main um, love interest was fine in itself. I didn't really find anything compelling about either of these two characters. I actually thought some secondary characters were more interesting than these primary characters and even though the secondary characters weren't anything special in itself, I did find these secondary characters were more rounded than the primary characters. And while I did have moments where I did feel for these characters or I didn't understand certain mindsets, certain attitudes, certain actions, other times I just found them to be very very immature and it was almost hard to read about and really understand where they were coming from. Moving on we have the plot. So starting off with one subpart of the plot is the romance in itself. So I didn't love these characters so I didn't love this plot but the romance itself for me was really really hard for me to swallow. I personally don't love anything that involves cheating. This romance does have some form of cheating involved into it and I'm not going to give any spoilers away but when a book, a romance sort of book at that, features cheating in it and a romance features cheating in it, I automatically am very turned off by the romance. I don't condone any sort of form of cheating so it's really hard for me to get 100% behind a romance that does involve cheating in it for itself. Next part of the romance that I do not like is the fact that I felt like in this plot there were so many different fights that just kept happening and at some parts I actually thought I was rereading a scene because I thought no way is this just the same scene technically but a different part in the novel and it basically was. There was a point where I was like okay did we not get over this? Have we not moved past this fight and how it keeps getting on and on and on and yet again that kind of spars off the point that these characters in my opinion were very immature and I know people are going to give me kind of crap for saying they are immature because they're supposed to be older and all that stuff but I am in college. I am about the same age, actually a little bit older than these characters. I understand what they're dealing with when it comes to classes and internships and all that stuff. I am very well aware of that lifestyle because I am in fact living that lifestyle. But I just personally could not get behind this entire romance because I felt like the fights were consistent. There wasn't anything that was changing in their romance. Um, the only sort of attribute they had is they obviously had sort of a lust from one another and that lust did spar into love and at first I actually did like their kind of banter that turned almost into a friendship and how they did have that sort of connection but I felt like there wasn't any substance behind it so when it drove into them actually having their relationship it was really hard for me to get behind. Like I said I wasn't really behind it anyway from the cheating but the the romance itself I just feel like it didn't really have a good foundation and that kind of goes full forward when we figure out into the ending. So the third part of the plot that I didn't really love was the ending. Um, I could see the ending coming from a mile away. I wasn't surprised by it. I was surprised by the outcome of whatever happened and I ended up actually going into the second book just because I wanted to see what was going to happen and I kind of knew what was going to happen even in the second book so I wasn't really surprised when I ended up reading a couple of chapters and I was like I don't even need to see where the rest goes so I was a little not disappointed but I just could expect the ending and it wasn't really a surprise factor for me like it was for a lot of people and I feel like a lot of people were very su surprised by the plot twist which drove a lot of love for this book overall because it was suspenseful and when you got to the ending you were just shocked by it but I personally wasn't shocked because I saw it coming from a mile away. And then the final comment I have to make is the writing in itself. I thought the writing was fine. It wasn't anything awful, but the characters in itself and the plot cons I had sort of took away everything else from this story. Overall, I did not love this book, but I didn't hate it either. I actually ended up seeing that this book reminded me a lot of another, which is Beautiful Disaster. And I do have to say, if you are interested in a book that does feature sort of a bad boy trope, 
has that love to hate romance that pull tug sort of chemistry characters could have and actually has a more well-rounded plot and a more well-rounded characters i would recommend beautiful disaster i don't think beautiful Disa disaster is perfect but i think it is a better version of after from anna todd um i am excited to see the movie though that is definitely going to be part two it does come out this friday i'm excited to see what they're going to do i don't think it's going to be entirely hard for them to make a two-hour movie out of this book like i said i find that there are some key scenes in this book but then we have a lot of repetitive scenes that have a very singular point that is made consistently and constantly throughout this book but never really full circle handled until like the very end and then everything is twisted upside down so i'm excited to see what you guys have to say about not only this review but the book itself so definitely leave some comments down below of your thoughts on this book if you have read it and if you actually end up seeing the movie what you think about it as well i would love to have a little discussion with you guys and yeah i will see you guys in my next video